Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you guys can see, we are back playing, or back on MLB 9 Innings, and we are going to be opening up packs. Now let's see what this can get us. Okay, nothing. Daily pack, what can that get us? Okay. So it got us the silver, we'll take it, Bryce Harper, not bad. Could be worse. Let me also go in here. Yep. There it is. See what we can get. Hoping for some premium skill change tickets. Oh. Oh, we just get the premium vintage pack. Okay. Unfortunately, I was looking for the premium skill change tickets, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Take all those. Let me also... Go in here and open up the ranked coin boxes. We get a premium skill change ticket as well as 200. Watch them, McCallits. 200 uh, conditioned drinks. So not terrible. All right, so let's start opening up these packs. We're going to start off with the live silvers and go on from there. This week, as you guys saw, we have the club craft. We have the club craft, and it is indeed... Once again, going to be another search for a Mets relief pitcher that's new. This also, by the way, Jose Urania is gross. And it's unreal how he's like back pitching and doing so well. But well, you know what? It's pretty cool. So, yes. We have theoretically two chances of pulling a new team reliever. I am looking for... I would use the new Braden Loop. Not Braden Loop. Uh, Braden, I think it's Looper is his name. Him. Roger McDowell. Addison Reed. Or Tug McGraw. Four chances. Four chances to finish out my lineup. Because, I mean, eventually down the road, I'm sure I'd want a batter to replace my... Um, Wade Boggs, but realistically, I don't think I would want to replace him until I get like a diamond team sake that's a hitter. So, so I wouldn't want to waste like a GI because he's Wade Boggs does good as my cleanup hitter. He isn't like the, my best hitter, but he's most definitely not my worst, and he does pretty good in the home run department. So, not going to complain. So that's the hope for today, is that that can be over, that search can be over, um, hoping that I can finally say that uh, my team is complete, and that's pretty much it. So I'm not sure, this video will be released after I release my double mileage video Do you guys see it's still double mileage and so with the premium vintage that i have i have a chance of doing a, a vintage combo and just do that we should release them after but yeah so my double uh, mileage video will be released after this video that double mileage video i recorded that um, I actually recorded that while I was in the Poconos. I was there with my girlfriend and her family. Um, I'm not scared to say it. I pulled another legend. So I'm back on the uh, consecutive legend streaks. That one I pulled it was Pete Alexander, which kind of was interesting because I had been opening up uh, team select packs for the Phillies for some time trying to pull that Pete Alexander card. And then I eventually got him from a premium vintage pack. So that was pretty cool to get that. Um, I also know that I have to, right now it is 417 on um, the last day of June, June 30th, uh, the first day of July, it's tomorrow. Um, I have yet to edit and upload a video or edit a video together for that day. I don't have a video scheduled, which isn't great. 
that's good getting a diamond from a five silver combo but that's okay because I'll eventually get to it so today the only thing we are looking for for mentor is possible guys with high fastball that are diamonds what I most likely will do is that all the like team cards that I have um, I will uh, that are upgraded already I will just try and train them for specifically fastball and then other guys I have that are saved who have high fastball I will just train them I'll use upgrade tickets and all that stuff so that's pretty much my plan uh, so we have let's see we've got the club craft and we also have a regular team sig a regular team sig a regular sig pack to open this week so you know it's going to be some interesting stuff i am just going to do this combo to uh okay so the mitch garber is a ton of power but i mean it wouldn't do me any good we get nick castellanos so just going to release that guy and now i have 80 spots to open up because i was able to get rid of a good amount of the premium uh, the vintages that I had saved up as well as the seven or six six that I saved up as we get our first diamond from the premium packs and we get a vintage okay so barring we don't pull a vintage or a legend from the vintage pack that I'm going to be opening I'm going to have another vintage combo to do. So that would now make it two uh, vintage combos that I have to add extra to my odds. Okay. So, cool stuff. Um, so, let's see. Baseball news. Um, I know the All-Star Game ballots voting results have been released. Uh, Bryce Harper will be the National League starting first baseman. Two diamonds from eight there, so we ended up getting three total. That's pretty good. Um, however, I don't know if that will happen because I know that Harper has a hamstring injury that he is currently dealing with. So I don't know if that will keep him out until after the All-Star game or not. So that's going to be uh, interesting to see. But other than that... Um, Judge got the most votes in the American League, so they're both slotted in to start in the All-Star game, so now there was voting. Um, let's see, I think, let me go around the horn. So, first base in the American League, I went Ryan Mountcastle. I know Guerrero has been late, has been doing really well, but Mountcastle, first off, I have Mountcastle on my fantasy team, and he's been doing pretty good. And second off, I have, um... I just like how Mountcastle has been all season. He's been pretty solid. So can't really beat that. Um, and then for the National League, of course, it's Bryce Harper. That's known. Holy smokes. Please don't tell me I made a mistake. Okay, good. I didn't make a mistake. I mean, you're not pitching tonight. No. Okay. Fantasy this week. I'm right now losing by eight points. And uh, Ryan Mountcastle just didn't play today. Great. Um, that's unfortunate, but, you know, I don't have anybody on my bench that I can put in for him. But Freddie Peralta has done very well. He pitched seven innings. Two hits, one earned run, two walks, eight strikeouts. Hopefully the Brewers can keep the 7-1 lead that they have and he can get a win, and I can get a couple extra points. The Mets are currently in a rain delay against the Astros. Again, this Mets-Astros series has been pretty good. Pretty good, to say the least. Um, the Mets won the first game by, I think it was a good amount they won by. Not 100%. No, it was actually... No, 9-7 was the Yankees game. Right, the Mets and Yankees faced off. I f we'll talk about that after. Um, that was 7-2, I think, the Mets beat the uh, Astros earlier on Friday. Then the Astros beat the Mets 9-6. 
on Saturday. That game was just unfortunate. The bullpen blew it. Not much else to t- say about that. BJ Ryan, I just comboed away your SIG on that team. The Blue Jays. But yes, the Mets and the Yankees did face off against each other this past week. And the Mets crushed the Yankees. Not much else to say. Uh, the Mets beat them in the first game. I think it was 9-7. That game was should have been a lot more if, you know, the Mets' bullpen wasn't so bad. Um, and then the second game, the Mets won like 10-2 to or something like that. Something dumb. Anyways, uh, let's see. We've got the 16-team select packs here. So we are going to go with the San Francisco Giants. Let me get my odds up, of course. So no diamond there, as we see. One gold. All right. So let me go to team select pack odds. So we are now at 401 silvers pulled, 86 golds. And let me be like, all right, cool. Let's see. Do we get a vintage? I don't expect we should be getting a vintage for a while because of the fact that we've gotten uh, now three vintages, is it? And that's why we get a prime. Okay. As our third prime, we got two more golds, which makes it, oh, 88. Nope, 88. That's the right number. Um, one, two, and then one, two, three. So four silvers. So now that is 405. All right. So let's see who this prime is going to be. Is it a dupe? It's Matt Kane. I believe I already have Matt Kane as a prime. Unfortunate, but you know, still a prime. We'll take it nonetheless. So now that's my third prime pulled. And I have four vintages. Speaking of vintages, let's open up the premium vintage player pack. It's just one. I'm not expecting a legend. I don't get a legend. So let's change that to 85. Combos will be now 50. So let's see what we get from this. Dom Buford, I believe his name is. So let's go with the four live season ultimate packs. Nothing from there. Let me go back to my team select pack odds because we do have the team select diamonds, a couple of them. The wise guy, I believe he's recovering from Tommy John. Remember if I see correctly. Okay, there's a diamond from the first ten. It's Marcelo Zuna, so can't use him for high fastball because, you know, he just doesn't pitch. There's another diamond, so we got at least two from 19. Oh, we get three from the last nine, so four from 19. That's a lot of velocity on that Bautista. Fortunately, I don't need that, and then Iglesias just doesn't have enough fastball for me to like it. But, all right, that will take that. Four from 19 is pretty good. A live season diamond pack. And then three team select diamond packs. Let's see. So let me just see. We got Andrew Pilate here. Andre Palante. Doesn't look great. I don't think I'm going to keep him. Three team select diamond packs. Let's see what we can get from here. No primes or legends. So now that it is 69, nice. Team select diamond packs. And do we get a diamond vintage? Nope. Nobody with high fastball either, so it's all right. Um, now we are going to do my consumables, which is my seven premium skill changes. After I do exchanges here, get a gold trainer. Yep, okay. And now we've got... Go down here to consumables. We are going to use the two premium trainer crew tickets. We are going to get two silvers. Okay. So pitcher one, not good at all. And then the eight gold trainer crew tickets here. We get batting home run hitter for right fielder. Okay, that's I'll take that. That's pretty good. Um yeah, nice. A batting eye. Eh. Leading hitter. Okay, and then zone control, my closing pitcher. So nothing crazy. And then pitcher, nope. Batter, nope. Pitcher, no. Batter, okay, it's pretty good for a center fielder. So not terrible here, a whole bunch of things. 
Now this ultimate trainer recruit ticket. Up, oh, I got this from the uh, what do you call them? The Supreme Check In Thingy Mabob event thing. Uh, I'm hoping I can get a diamond trainer. I think it's like a fifteen percent chance. Anyways, let's just see what we get. Yeah, guess hitter. Okay. Um, for a left fielder, position option on either side. Okay. So I'm going to look on my what well, my left fielder has, see if that's any better. Um, so now we've got seven premium skill change tickets here. Um, I'm going to use them on Diaz. I'm like debating. I think we just need improvements. So if we get a legend skill, oh, right, yeah. Let me just do this. So we're opening up seven. So now it's going to be 97 premium skill change tickets used. Uh, we'll keep this one, sure, whatever. This is also the new UI that they have. Again, I don't think I will ever get a legend skill select change ticket. Um, otherwise, I would use that on my probably my Robles because uh, he has a 3 3 3 set. Even though he does pretty decent for the 333 slow starter set in uh, middle relief, I will say. So, nothing through the first, what is it, four. So, we got three more chances. Again, I'm like debating okay, well, if I get a legend skill, like what levels do I want to keep? But then I have to realize, you know, this game just doesn't want to give me a legend skill. So, there's no point in worrying about that if I can't even get a legend skill in the first place. Okay, I got slow starter, 132. Um, I'll change over to it, sure, but bottom skill 3, not high enough for me. But that's a legend skill scene, so now my last 97 I've used, I've seen 8, so it's about an 8.25% chance I'm at. Still a bit under what I would like, but that's whatever. Alrighty, so now we've got a regular signature player pack and then the New York Mets signature player pack. Let's see what the regular regular signature player pack can get me. We don't have a sig combo to do, so even if this is not a met, the high chance that that's not a met, uh, we don't have to. Uh, we don't have a sig combo to do. And then I still have yet to pull a Yankee sig. I still have yet to pull a Yankee sig. I'm just going to say that. Let's see who this is in three. Two, one, we get. Oh, this is a new one. All right. Orlando Cabrera of the Washington Nationals. So that is my fourth Nationals SIG I've pulled. And it's the new one for them. We looked at this one of my uh, video I posted, uh, I think it was like the 27th of June. All right, no, it's a new sig. Um, I'll take if I get a, the new med sig from the signature craft. Um, now I'm just again hoping that I can pull a reliever. Really, that's pretty much it. So that is now 48 signature packs that I've opened up. And again, the Mets are tied with the Cardinals for the most amount of sigs that I've pulled. Here's this club craft. I'm hoping this can be a reliever. I'm not going to do any peeking or anything dumb like that. Uh, I'm going to do, and we'll do a no look strat, sure. Uh, I have here to my left my baseball cards that I just got while I was on vacation. So I will look at that quickly and then I will look back and see who we get. So again, we're hoping this is a reliever. I also did say to one of my clubmates that if this was a new reliever for me, I would purchase some package that's 70 bucks. Um, so here's to hoping that this is a reliever in three, two, one. We get, oh man, okay. And three, two, one. Oh, uh, we get Javi Baez. Okay.
Well, no money for you, Comtus, today. But... Alright, well, I now have to stick to it. Next week, I'll be opening up the uh, $100 League Championship package. Like, the first deal. Um, I mean, cool cigars. I'll say that. It's a cool cigar, but it is just... It's a new cig, right? Just like the last time I opened up a Club Craft. It's a new cig. Um, I got Duda. Um, just this guy is just not usable because first off, he has, let me, let's just take a look. He's no fielding. He's no fielding and he's no eye. Again, I don't know why they gave him no fielding. The eye I understand, but the no fielding is just brutal. So, he will be put into my backup for as while I wait to get a, um, For when I eventually get another Mets say that I don't need. It could be next week. It may be never. But. That's a bit unfortunate. But. You know. It happens. I also do have to check to make sure that I have a Matt Kane, Even though I'm like 85% sure I do. So we pull the Diamond Zach Wheeler there. That's pretty nice. Let me sort by name, and because he's an M, I'll check in the back here. Oh, I just moved it. So what do I want to keep? I want to keep the gold. So I'll lock the gold, unlock the silver. All right. So go back to combining, guys. Let's just do this. We have a lot of diamonds to go through. So we'll do two diamonds, three golds. Uh, nobody here has a ton of uh, fastball, so it doesn't matter who I get. I get a gold. I still would like to get diamonds game. I will say that. Oh, man. Club crafts. Can club crafts ever be my friend? Unfortunate, but, you know, maybe one day, maybe one day they will be my friend. Um, nope, nobody here with a ton of, ton of fastball because we have no diamonds that have pitching stats. Um, Bobby Witt stayed there. Uh, no one here has high fastball, so it's whatever. Zach Eflin. All right. Let's see who else we got here. It's a lot of power on the judge. I will say that. But, yep. Nobody with high fastball. All right. So as we get down to the end, I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. Unfortunately, we did not accomplish what I was looking for. But hopefully that just means that next week... Uh, we're able to, when I do the, um, the open up the special, because I'll have, I think it'll be two or three SIG packs next week. So, yeah, no, that should be uh, pretty exciting for when I do that. I hope you guys didn't even get to see, but we got Eric Davis, one of the newer vintages they added. So I, I made sure that I counted for both vintage combos here, I do believe, as long as it says, yep. Alrighty, so that's going to be it for me in this video. I'm going to go into high 5,000 mileage. Okay. I'm going to go and see, okay, I got 14 games to play, so we are most definitely going to play those. Let that get going. I'm going to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.